My name's Andy. Hey, my name's Garrett. Hi, this is Ray. All right, I'm Jose. I'm Greg Babia. Uh, I'm about to take the 2016 Tacoma off-road, and I'm being filmed on the factory-installed GoPro mount. We're very excited to be able to share a lot of the, the new first and segment off-road capabilities of the new 2016 Tacoma. For instance, multi-terrain select, which allows the driver to pick from one to five uh, different modes uh, of terrain, like mud, sand, or gravel. And it works uh, by, by regulating the wheel spin and adjusting the throttle and brake pressure to maximize traction. The multi-terrain select was great. Any obstacle that you come across, whether it be sand, mud, rock and dirt like we have behind us, uh, the Tacoma will adapt and overcome those obstacles. It gripped well, put the equal pressure to all the tires. We didn't turn, you know, and spin like you'd think you would. It uh, definitely takes the place of the e-locker. What I noticed it most on was on the uh, steep inclines when you're about 30 degrees through the rocks. The multi-terrain was definitely doing its job. We hit a couple different sections where you know, surface got looser and I would have worried about slippage, but I felt the system catch it. The multi-terrain uh, select actually conquered every single uh, situation. Man, this is insane. Oh my God, it's incredible. Yeah! And then you have crawl control, which also allows the driver to select from one to five speeds. And basically what the system does is it takes over the acceleration and the braking, so all the driver has to do is focus on the driving. The crawl feature is really great. You just have to kind of do that leap of faith and turn loose and let it do its thing. And I just let the crawl control take over. It was amazing, man. Being up on top of that hill, coming down, uh, just to kind of give your full trust to the crawl control and let it take over. That's insane. <laughs> That was, uh, that was probably the most impressive thing, I think. The crawl control, that was beyond cool. As a, someone who's never done heavy off-roading like that before, there's no way I feel that I would have been confident to safely get down that hill. And the machine, you know, the, the system sorted it all out for me. That, that's some great engineering. Wow. It's just off-road and cruise control. There was a couple of pretty gnarly dips that we saw um, that I had to kind of, you know, with the crawl control, to help me get over, uh, no clearance issues at all. I think you would be hard trouble to find a rut it couldn't work its way out of. Oh, this is a blast. <laughs> <laughs> when you're going down and like, the front of the truck is pitched up, pointing at the sky, and you see nothing but blue, like, that, that's kind of a, an act of faith there to let it, let the machine handle it. That was, that was pretty scary, man. I, I was genuinely worried there for a second. The team of engineers that worked on this, mm -hmm. I have to commend them. The very first feeling when you let off that pedal, um, you kind of just, you know, have to have confidence in the truck and, and you know, hoping that it'll do its job. And sure enough, uh, you know, it builds that confidence as soon as it takes over. Truck handles are just fine. At no point did I really feel worried about it tipping over. I'm sure it had a lot more in it. I have to be really grateful to Mr. Emoto and his team. They've done an amazing job. I mean, to be able to have a factory vehicle that does that without any mods, without an expert driver behind the wheel, that, that's impressive work. Well, you did a beautiful job up there, Tacoma. I color me impressed. <laughs> um, if I could drive the new Tacoma anywhere in the world, um, I'd definitely stick to Southern California. I mean, I'd drive it up to Big Bear uh, first thing, try out the trails there, um, and then head to the beach. Wow. But I would do something exotic, something crazy. Uh, definitely like up in Tibet or in the Himalayas or something weird I haven't tried before. I'd love to go to Australia or New Zealand to drive it. I would move to Canada and have a remote cottage because that's what the Tacoma will let you do. It'll let you escape from reality and into nature.